My impressions of Ukraine are very positive. I was in Kyiv about over 10 years ago and had a very positive impression then. Obviously a very different situation now, but I'd say I'm even more impressed. I've never been to Lviv and it's been an amazing experience. In teaching here, working with the students, I find them very thoughtful, very open, uh, very warm, very engaged. Uh, I feel it feel, doesn't feel like working. It feels more like collaborating with thoughtful people who are interested in what's going on in the world, what's going on in business, uh, how to become better negotiators as we interact more and more through our business and cultures. Um, so all in all, I guess I would summarize it as an amazingly positive experience and I feel privileged to actually have the opportunity to be here now. So as an American, uh, in a very divided America right now. Uh, one thing that is uniting many, if not most Americans, is support for Ukraine. Um, I know that there are people who are not as supportive, uh, but even in our divided country, the majority of Americans are supportive of Ukraine, are interested in what's going on here, are worried about authoritarianism, um, and uh, countries that don't want to abide by the rule of law. So I, I think that while most Americans, and again, I can only speak as an American, um, may not have known much about Ukraine at all before the invasion, I think there's a, a, an awareness of how important this time in history is and how important it is that Ukrainians are the kind of people they are that are willing to stand up, to fight back, to hold on to their values and to try to preserve those values, um, which many of us share um, in other parts of the world. I would say keep doing what you're doing. I think there's a feeling that Ukrainians are reliable and resilient partners um, that are not denying the things that have gone wrong in the past and are working hard to improve those things, that are taking seriously wanting to be good partners in uh, in the rest of the world who want to show that they are um, reliable and vibrant, they're contributors to the world economy and to the world culture. Um, and so I would say keep doing what you're doing. I also think that the more Americans are exposed to actual Ukrainians and actual Ukraine, the better. Uh, I can say that as, uh, as someone who was interested in Ukraine before, I'm obviously more now, and when the invasion first happened, there, there was a feeling, at least among people like me, that the best we could do was donate to an NGO or um, care. Uh, but the more Ukraine does what it's doing now, which is reaching out to other countries, other people, so that we have real human-to-human -human contact and real understanding of one another, the more that helps support for Ukraine. I think this is related to what we, the, the last question around helping people understand what Ukraine is as a society, as a culture, a really vibrant and strong culture, um, as, a, as a people, and as people who uh, other countries want to collaborate with. Even where I live in the US, which is Silicon Valley, Ukraine before the invasion was recognized as a culture with a lot of strong technological skills, a lot of strong developers, a lot of entrepreneurial spirit. Uh, and the more that word gets out there, the more other countries, other cultures, other people become aware of how the positive impact that Ukraine has on the rest of the world, uh, the better it is, I think, uh, for all of us as we move forward. It's very important. Um, obviously, as a relatively smaller country, than, particularly than the country that has invaded Ukraine, uh, it's important that other countries um, rally around what Ukrainians are trying to do um, and try to be helpful as Ukraine stands up for its own culture and its own uh, government and its own people. So it's extremely important that that, um, that, that effort continues. And again, I think the more that um, Americans and other countries become aware of, as opposed to just media, which might only show the fighting and the destruction and the despair, there's a lot here that is so positive and optimistic and resilient. It's a lesson for the rest of us. Uh, and I think the more that word gets out through 
again, the more, it's not just social media, it's actual human to human contact. Um, maybe that's self-serving because I appreciate the opportunity to be here. Um, and I'm doing the best I can to, to report back every day my experiences and the real Ukraine as at least I'm experiencing it. I think it's important to understand international standards for standardization purposes. It's, um, I think it's easier for particular Western commercial interests to want to participate in Ukraine when there's comfort that the, the norms and standards and laws and regulations are at least similar enough that, that um, companies can collaborate, companies can invest. I think there will be strong interest, if there isn't already, in helping to participate um, in the post-war recovery and rebuilding. And the more that uh, international companies, businesses, NGOs are comfortable that we can make agreements, we can build cooperation, we can develop partnerships where we have a mutual understanding, kind of common expectations about how, how we work together. Uh, I think that makes people more comfortable that they can invest their resources, invest their time in companies, businesses, development of Ukrainians um, as we move forward. I think probably for anyone, when you're going into a negotiation environment that isn't your, your normal environment or isn't your home environment, that it's just important to get curious about the differences and to be very open-minded and curious about how business works in another place and to also be open and honest about what those differences are. So if, for example, if you're a Ukrainian founder, business owner, entrepreneur, um, I think being able to have a clear story about what your product or your business or your service does. So a clear example or a clear story that helps uh, other, other entities outside of uh, Ukraine understand what the service or product or business is. And then show a willingness to understand the business culture of the place where you're trying to develop a new business. Um, it's some of our, for example, I, I know there are some differences between intellectual property um, in where I live in practice, in Silicon Valley, for example, and intellectual property here. I just had a conversation with someone yesterday who said that there are efforts being made currently within Ukraine to make sure that um, those laws and protections around intellectual property are more standardized so that we, again, can work together confidently that we understand um, partnerships and, and doing business together in the future.